Good morning class. How are you all? Hope you all are doing well. Welcome to your English class. Children, in last few days we have done uh, many lessons in our real English textbook. Now, today we shall be doing something from our drama book. Okay? We have covered many grammar points like subject verb agreement, determiners, tenses, etc. Now today we are going to do a writing task. We have already done writing tasks also like notice writing, story writing, etc. But today we are going to start with biographical sketch. Now it is very important for you to develop your writing skills. Writing skills help you to express your feelings and ideas and also a well written note, a well written article plays a very important role. Okay, It helps you to get a good impression on others. What you have written, it should be expressing exactly your feelings, ideas and it also helps to impress others, give a good impression on others. Now, the biographical sketch which we are going to start today is a short composition. Now, in writing skill also, there are two types of writing skills. One is a long composition and another one is short composition. Long composition is the writing task which is which has more than 100, 150 or say 200 words whereas short composition is the writing uh, task where the word limit is confined to say 50 to 80 words. So that is short composition. Now biographical sketch is a short composition uh, let's see. Yeah, a biographical sketch is always written in 50 to 80 words. That is, the minimum limit is 50 words and the maximum limit is 80 words. Let's see the introduction of a biographical sketch. A biographical sketch is the description of a person's life history which includes his her physical features, birth, family background, education, professional career, awards and achievements, etc. A biographical sketch is basically we are writing a kind of a biography of an individual. Okay, all the details about him. Now what are the details included in biographical sketch that is his physical features okay where is he born who is his father who is his mother all those family background then physical features that is how does he look is he short is he tall dark fair his hair all those physical feature of the individual then comes birth where is he born? When is he born? Okay, in which city he is born? All those. Then comes family background. Who is his father? Who is his mother? Okay, and which family does he belong to? All these details come under family background. Then education. Okay, what are his educational qualifications? Where has he studied? Which college? Which university? About that is discussed in education. Then comes professional career. Okay, what is the profession of the individual? Right? Is he a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher? Okay, is he a businessman? What profession is he pursuing? So that professional career is also discussed in a biographical sketch. Then comes the awards and achievements. Is he a renowned personality? 
what are the awards he have received what are the achievements that person has uh, achieved in his life what are they so all these comes under awards and achievements any other detail about that person that is also discussed in a biographical sketch so that is about biographical sketch the introduction of biographical sketch now usually a biographical sketch is written about a well known person that is usually usually we write about a well known person this individual can be a reputed personality with some outstanding achievements in his or her field however a biographical sketch can also be an account of a common man's life he she may be a shopkeeper a farmer a teacher a clerk or a housewife right so usually biographical sketch is written about a well known person the great personalities right now this individual can be a reputed personality with some outstanding achievements in whichever field he is he is a cricketer he is a singer he is a, a celebrity he is a businessman whosoever he is in that respective field he should have achieved something outstanding right now in case of business we can give example of mukesh ambani in case of cricket we can give example of sachin tendulkar in case of a singing we can give example of lata mangeshkar right so they are the reputed personality okay the person with some reputation and they have achieved something outstanding in whichever field they have worked right now however a biographical sketch can also be an account of a common man's life now children here the account word doesn't mean the bank account it means the details account here means the details so a biographical sketch can also be a detail of a common man's life right you can write about your parents also that is also a bio sketch right now he she may be a shopkeeper a farmer a teacher a clerk or a housewife so any person you can a common man you can take okay and you can write the details about that person's life that is also a bio sketch it does not necessarily have to be a well known person usually it is written but not necessarily about a well known person you can write a biographical sketch about any common man also let's see the next one now in the context of the examination students will be provided with some notes on the life of an individual and they will have to write a short paragraph expanding the notes in a complete answer in logical order right now this slide describes in context to the examination how in examination you will be asked this biographical sketch so you will be provided with some notes on the life of an individual some points will be given to you kind of help box okay and those notes will be on the life of any individual so from the exam point of view what you have to do is you will be given some notes on the life of an individual and what you have to do is you have to expand this notes and write a short paragraph expanding this notes into a complete answer and then this notes which are given they are to be uh, written in an logical order the order given has to be in arranged in logic okay it is not that first say suppose you write about the birth of that person and then you write about the achievement he has done 
and then you write about his family or then you add on his professional career so no it has to be in logical order it has to be in proper sequence and you have to take help of the given notes to describe about the life of that individual clear i hope it is clear to you let's see the next one now points to remember now while you are writing a biographical sketch there are certain points which you need to keep in mind while writing a biographical sketch now children in short this biographical sketch is also called bio sketch that is biographical is cut into bio so it is also called bio sketch so whenever you are writing a bio sketch there are certain points which you have to keep in mind now which are these points let's see first one read carefully the notes given very important point whatever the given notes are you have to very carefully read them okay there should be no error in using the notes now suppose if uh the note says that that person is born on uh, 16th of august and by mistake you read it as 19th of august then the detail given is wrong suppose in your answer you write the wrong date then that is not acceptable so you have to very carefully read the given notes right let's see second point don't write your personal opinion or any kind of information not included in the notes given now children many a times it happens that you are asked about a renowned person and uh, that person is quite popular obviously because he is a reputed personality so we know many things about that person maybe these things are not given in the notes okay say for example the notes are about uh, say the millennium star amitabh bachchan okay now the notes have been given the now the notes which are given has certain details right but you know more about him so you will be curious or excited to add those so you will be eager to add to those notes no don't do that you don't have to write your personal opinion or any kind of information which is not included in the notes given okay you have to write only about the uh, you have to take clue only from the given notes and then you have to write about that personality am i clear so you are not going to write your personal opinion that i like this actor very much or i don't like or this no no personal opinion on this and you are not going to share any other kind of information also which is not given in the notes be very clear about it okay so you are not going to include any additional information apart from the ones which are given in the notes clear i hope the point is very clear to you let's see third point write your answer using the third person now again a very important point you have to keep in mind that the notes or the biographical sketch of the person you are writing it has to be always in the third person first and second person not acceptable right next point put your ideas in a logical order as i discussed earlier it has to have a logical order a sequence you know there should be a flow in your writing okay it should not be jerky that first you write about 
birth and then achievement and then all no it should have a flow and it should have the order in which it is given in the notes the notes also will have a flow that is first they give his birth details then about his family background then about his uh, say what are his uh, education so all this order have to be maintained there should be proper sequence the flow should be proper in your writing next point is maintain expressions fluency and accuracy now maintain expressions so whatever you express it has to be perfect you have to maintain the expressions of about your writing there should be flow in your writing and accuracy whatever the details are given they should be matching perfectly with the a uh, biographical sketch that you have written that is there should be accuracy of the details as i said earlier if he is born on 16th august you cannot write 19th august the details should be accurate perfect okay now the last point revise your draft make corrections if required now whatever draft you have prepared whatever uh, biographical sketch you have written you have to revise that that is you have to just go through it one more time check that are there any errors as far as the accuracy is concerned that is the details the birth dates the place of birth or parents name education all these are perfect they are as accurate as uh given in the notes they are matching it perfect fine fluency is it having a proper flow right is it in third person the details you have written okay uh everything in order right so you once you have revised your draft then any corrections you have to make okay once all this is done then your biographical sketch is complete and children be very particular about the word limit this is as i said a short composition so word limit has to be 50 to 80 words minimum 50 words maximum 80 words so you have to stick to the word limit you cannot write beyond the given word limit clear let's come to the next one suggested marking scheme now you have written a biographical sketch it is perfectly written revised necessary changes made by you now your biographical sketch goes to teacher for correction right now so in all this article so in all this short composition is of 4 marks now up to 1 mark is deducted for spelling punctuation and grammatical errors so if we see any spelling errors or there is an error in uh, putting punctuation marks or any other grammatical error then up to 1 mark is deducted for that but you have to be very careful and ve- write it very accurately clear children now we will see a solved example of biographical sketch read the notes given below on the life history of indian cricket legend sachin tendulkar and write a bio sketch in 50 to 80 words now this 
is a bio sketch about Sachin Tendulkar. We all know him very well, right? Now, the notes, the given points are 1973, birth on April 24 in Mumbai, father Ramesh Tendulkar. 1984 gets his first cricket bat makes okay so 1987 makes 664 runs in school match 1989 plays first international test match against pakistan in november 1996 becomes the captain of the indian cricket team scores the highest runs in the world cup 2010 becomes the first man to score 200 runs in an one day international highest score in the test matches and odi that is one day international matches so now children these are the notes given about sachin tendulkar right and now you all know him very well right now there would be some detail which you know more than the given notes but remember you don't have to write anything extra apart from the given notes please keep it in mind you don't have to add any other information and you ha don't have to write your personal opinion as well right now what were the points to remember first we have read, uh, read the notes very carefully if needed you may read it twice also okay take your time but be very particular in writing the details then now we are going to write the answer so what we have to keep in mind use third person clear you have to write your answer using the third person and you have to put your ideas in logical order now if you see this note first his birth is given okay when he was born the year is given place is given and then the family background that is about his father right next comes his professional career that is when he got his first bat uh, how many runs he made all that right then came awards and achievements so these are the details given about him and you have to write in the same order you have to use the details and write in the same order in which it is given let's see okay now this is answer to that uh now this is answer to the given notes sachin tendulkar the great indian cricketer Sachin Tendulkar was born on April 24, 1973 in Mumbai. His father's name is Ramesh Tendulkar. When he was 11 years old, he got his first cricket bat. In 1987, he made 664 runs in a school match. He played his first international test match against Pakistan in November 1989. He became the captain of Indian cricket team in 1996 and scored highest runs in the World Cup. He is the world's first batsman who has scored 200 runs 
in a one day international match he is the world's highest scorer both in the test matches and one day international matches all the indians are proud of this legendary player now did you see this did you see the fluency the accuracy of the details right and the way it was expressed so you have to keep that always in your mind now once you have written this you have to revise your draft don't forget that you have to revise your draft see if there is any error check the accuracy of the details given okay after revising your draft and then you have to see the corrections okay you have to make the corrections if required right and then only you will submit your task to your teacher then it becomes a complete biographical sketch so children this is about biographical sketch okay for practice we will be giving you more biographical sketch but this is how a biographical sketch is written okay i have told you about the biographical sketch that is the in the introduction what are the details in it then how do we write a biographical sketch what are the points which are to be kept in mind when you write a biographical sketch and also i have discussed with you the marking scheme how do teachers correct or mark your biographical sketch we also saw the salt example that is an example of a bio sketch how the notes are given and how using those notes you have to write the answer i hope this topic is clear to you okay for any doubts or any queries we you can ask me during our online class fine children so thank you take care have a good day